Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number one of the worksheet on chapter four for the intermediate algebra class. Objective, power rules with exponents, multivariate quotients. Problem number one, simplify. Negative eight times u cube over v, the whole square. So we are going to use the rule of exponents First, we have to square the negative 8. So, look at the square here. So, every number inside the parentheses must be squared. Then, u cube must be squared. Both are on the numerator. The denominator, you have v. So, keep the denominator as v. Then, square that one too. Every exponent, every expression must be raised to the power of 2. So now negative 8 squared, which is negative 8 times negative 8, which is positive 64. Then we use the law of exponent, uh, the power rule. If you have a to the power m to the n, rule that we use, it's a to the m times n. That is u to the power 3, the whole square. So e to the power u to the exponent 3 times 2, which is 6 divided by v square which is 64 negative 8 times negative 8 that's a 64 u to the power 6 divided by v square in the same video we will try problem number 2 as well problem number 2 objective power and quotient rules with the negative exponents simplify 2 times a to the negative 1 b uh, 2 times a to the exponent negative 1, b to the exponent negative 2, c to the exponent negative 3, all divided by 10, a to the exponent negative 6, b, c to the exponent negative 5, the whole thing to the power negative 1. So, anytime you have a over b, a quotient, to the power of a negative exponent, you can switch the expression inside the parenthesis. You can switch the numerator in the denominator and you can make the exponent positive. So we are going to first switch the numerator in the denominator of the given expression and make the negative 1 to positive 1. So switch, uh, take the denominator to the numerator 10, a to the negative 6, b, c to the negative 5 divided by 2, a to the exponent negative 1, b to the exponent negative 2, c to the exponent negative 3, all raised to the positive exponent 1. So positive exponent 1 um, is just 1, so we don't even have to write what the exponent is. If it is anything different from 1, we have to square our cube, but it's just 1, so it is that expression inside. So, the expression that we need to simplify is the numerator and the denominator of this expression. So, 2 goes into 10 5 times. So, 5 occurs on top. Now, we have to bring the negative exponent. If you are taking the numerator expression with the negative exponent, if you bring it down, that will become positive exponent. If you take the denominator negative exponent to the numerator, that will become positive on the numerator. So, the question requires us to write all your answers using positive exponent. So, we have to uh, make sure all our exponents that we write finally become a positive one. So, it is uh, 1 over a to the negative 1 and then we have a to the negative 6. Then a to the negative 6 can be brought down and be written as a to the positive 6. Then let's keep the b on top as b because it already has only positive exponent. Then this negative 2 below can be taken to the numerator. So we can write that as b to the positive exponent 2. Then we have c to the negative 3 and c to the negative 5. And then c to the negative 5 occurs on top. So, we will bring that down and make it c to the positive 5, c to the negative 3. 
the whole idea is to make everything with the positive exponent. So it is 5. a to the negative 6 times a to the negative 1. You have to add the exponents. a to the negative 1 plus 6. Then b to the, uh, if it is just b, you can write that as b to the 1. b to the 1 plus 2. Then 1 over c to the 5 minus 3. When you say b to the 1 plus 2, that means the denominator is assumed to be 1. <clears throat> so if we simplify all of it, it is just 5 times 1 over a to the power 5, negative 1 plus 6, that will be a 5. Then b to the power of 3 on the top, then c 5 minus 2, c square below. So it is 5 b cube over a to the power 5 times c square. So if you notice, every exponent here that we have written is positive. Hope this video helps for problem number 1 and 2 of the worksheet.